Hello and welcome, we have a good one for you today. Insurances. These are life, health, auto, home, umbrella, property and casualty insurances. These companies are heating up with share buybacks, dividend increases and share appreciation. This sector also boasts one of the lowest PE ratios in the stock market. This is good news for dividend growth investor like you and I. They collect premium and we all know they collect way more premium than they pay out which leaves them seating on a boatload of cash. Do you know insurance companies invest in stocks too? Yes, they sure do. Some invest in mortgage and some invest in government bond, contract loans, securities lending, real estates, and preferred stocks. They just have so much cash. Supercharge your portfolio with any one of these insurance stocks. In other to make today's list. 1. The stock must pay dividend no matter how small. 2. The payout ratio must be below 50%. 3. They must have at least one year of dividend growth. Disclaimer. We list these stocks for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own due diligence before investing. Remember we bring you the list not the in-depth due diligence that you must do before you invest your hard-earned money. Disclaimer, this are all my opinions and not to be considered financial advice. I understand your view and criteria may be different as it should be. Remember, not everyone's due diligence is the same. I'm not a financial expert. This list is compiled for entertainment purposes only. So it is absolutely imperative that you do your own due diligence. Your investment decisions are solely your own. In this video, we bring you 15 great insurance dividend stocks to consider for your portfolio. Let's get to it. Number 15. Unum Group, ticker symbol UNM. Founded in 1848 and headquartered in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Unum was created by the 1999 merger of Unum Corporation and the Provident Companies. At the time of this video, Unum Group has a share price of $25.27 and a market cap of $5.27 billion. Annual percentage yield of 4.75%. For investors, that means $1.20 per share a year or a passive dividend payment of $0.30 cents per share per quarter. Unum Group has grown their dividend for 13 years. Unum Group has a payout ratio of 27.1%. Good room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one year stock growth and appreciation of 17.86%. Unum Group pays out in the months of February, May, August, and November of every year. Number 14 Sun Life Financial Inc. Ticker symbol SLF. Headquartered in Toronto, Canada, Sun Life is a Canadian company primarily known for its life insurance business. At the time of this video, Sun Life has a share price of $55.85 and a market cap of $32.73 billion. Annual percentage yield of 3.81%. For investors, that means $2.13 per share a year or a passive dividend payment of $0.53 cents per share per quarter. Sun Life has grown their dividend for six years. Sun Life has a payout ratio of 43.55%. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 23.86%. Sun Life pays out in the months of March, June, September, and December of every year. Number 13. Manulife Financial Corporation. Ticker symbol MFC. This one is also a favorite of most value dividend investors. Founded in 1887 and headquartered in Toronto, Canada, Manulife is a Canadian multinational insurance company. Known as Manulife in Canada and Asia, but they operate through their John Hancock Financial here in the United States. At the time of this video, Manulife has a share price of $19.31 and a market cap of $37.52 billion. Annual percentage yield of 5.49%. For investors, that means $1.06 per share a year or a passive dividend payment of $0.26 cents per share per quarter. Manulife has grown their dividend for seven years. 
Manulife has a payout ratio of 41.06%. Good room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 15.91%. Manulife pays out in the months of March, June, September, and December of every year. Number 12. Old Republic International. Ticker symbol ORI. Founded in 1923 and headquartered in Chicago, Illinois, Old Republic is a property insurance company and title and deed company. They have a variety of title insurance products as well. They are also popular for their special dividend in addition to quarterly dividend. You should check them out. At the time of this video, Old Republic has a share price of $25.47 and a market cap of $7.62 billion. Annual percentage yield of 3.46%. For investors, that means $0.88 cents per share a year, or a passive dividend payment of $0.22 cents per share per quarter. ORI has grown their dividend for 30 years. ORI has a payout ratio of 30.34%. Great room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 47.18%. ORI pays out in the months of March, June, September, and December of every year. Number 11. Globe Life Incorporated, ticker symbol GL, founded in 1900 and headquartered in McKinney, Texas. Globe Life is a financial services holding company that engages in life insurance, annuity, and supplemental health insurance. At the time of this video, Globe Life has a share price of $92.45 and a market cap of 9.41b. Annual percentage yield of 0.85%. For investors, that means 79 cents per share a year, or a passive dividend payment of 20 cents per share per quarter. Globe Life has grown their dividend for eight years. Globe Life has a payout ratio of 15.79%. Great room to raise the dividend. Currently, Globe Life has a negative one-year share growth of minus 0.96%. Globe Life pays out in the months of February, May, August, and November of every year. Number 10. Assurant Incorporated, ticker symbol AIZ. I'm sure you know this American brand. Founded in 1892 and headquartered in New York, New York. Their core business includes property casualty and extended device protection. They have strategic partnership with T-Mobile and other wireless provider by providing device insurance. At the time of this video, Assurant has a share price of $159.48 and a market cap of 9.13b. Annual percentage yield of 1.71%. For investors, that means $2.72 per share a year or a passive dividend payment of $0.68 cents per share per quarter. Assurant has grown their dividend for 17 years. Assurant has a payout ratio of 29.56%. Great room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 18.2%. Assurant pays out in the months of March, June, September, and December of every year. Number 9. The Travelers Companies. Ticker symbol TRV. We all know this brand. Headquartered in New York, New York, Travelers is an American insurance company that offers property and casualty insurance. They are the largest writer of U.S. commercial property casualty insurance. At the time of this video, Travelers has a share price of $152.53 and market cap of $37.52 billion. Annual percentage yield of 2.31%. For investors, that means $3.52 per share a year, or a passive dividend payment of $0.88 cents per share per quarter. Travelers has grown their dividend for 16 years. Travelers has a payout ratio of 28.35%. Great room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 13.94%. Travelers pays out in the months of March, June, September, and December of every year. Number 8. Chubb Limited. 
ticker symbol CB. Headquartered in Warren, New Jersey, Chubb is an insurance company that offer insurance products for commercial and personal property and casualty insurance, personal accident and accident and health. At the time of this video, Chubb has a share price of $188.25 and a market cap of $82.67 billion. Annual percentage yield of 1.7%. For investors, that means $3.20 per share a year, or a passive dividend payment of $0.80 cents per share per quarter. Chubb has grown their dividend for one year. Chubb has a payout ratio of 26.21%. Great room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 27.74%. Chubb pays out in the months of March, June, September, and December of every year. Number 7. MetLife, Inc. Ticker symbol MET. Another famous American insurance company. Founded in 1868 and headquartered in New York, New York, MetLife is one of the largest offerer of insurance and annuities, automobile and homeowners insurance and other financial services including retail banking. This company is positioned to be a winner long term. At the time of this video, MetLife has a share price of $61.15 and a market cap of $52.71 billion. Annual percentage yield of 3.14%. For investors, that means $1.92 per share a year, or a passive dividend payment of $0.48 cents per share per quarter. MetLife has grown their dividend for nine years. MetLife has a payout ratio of 22.56%. Great room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 34.37%. MetLife pays out in the months of March, June, September, and December of every year. Number 6. Cincinnati Financial Corporation. Ticker symbol CINF. Founded in 1950 and headquartered Fairfield, Ohio, Cincinnati. CINF offers property and casualty insurance. At the time of this video, Cincinnati Financial has a share price of $118.81 and a market cap of $19.15 billion. Annual percentage yield of 2.12%. For investors, that means $2.52 per share a year, or a passive dividend payment of $0.63 cents per share per quarter. Cincinnati Financial has grown their dividend for 61 years. Cincinnati Financial has a payout ratio of 42.77%. Good room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 51.64%. Cincinnati Financial pays out in the months of January, April, July, and October of every year. Number 5. The Allstate Corporation. Ticker symbol ALL. Who doesn't know this brand and their good hands? Founded in 1931 and headquartered in Northfield Township, Illinois, Allstate is a big brand American insurance company. It was spun off Sears, Roebuck & Co. in 1993. At the time of this video, Allstate has a share price of $111.94 and a market cap of $32.41 billion. Annual percentage yield of 2.89%. For investors, that means $3.24 per share a year, or a passive dividend payment of $0.81 cents per share per quarter. Allstate has grown their dividend for 11 years. Allstate has a payout ratio of 24.13%. Great room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 11.53%. Allstate pays out in the months of January, April, July, and October of every year. Number 4. Lincoln National Corporation. Ticker symbol LNC. Headquartered in Radnor, PA and founded in 1905, Lincoln is a big American insurance company that operates multiple insurance and investment management businesses. They just announced a $1.5 billion share buyback. At the time of this video, Lincoln has a share price of $69.55 and 
and a market cap of $12.90 billion. Annual percentage yield of 2.59%. For investors, that means $1.80 per share a year, or a passive dividend payment of $0.45 cents per share per quarter. Lincoln has grown their dividend for 11 years. Lincoln has a payout ratio of 20.49%. Great room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 55.87%. Lincoln pays out in the months of February, May, August, and November of every year. I hope you are taking note of these great insurance stocks to further research and do your own due diligence on them. This is the longest list you will find anywhere. Should you choose to diversify into insurance stocks, I'm sure you can easily pick from this long list. As we move along, I will like to gauge the value we are providing you here by humbly asking you to smash that like button and give us a subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Please consider subscribing. We'll give you a few seconds to like and subscribe. Thank you so kindly. Now let's move on. Number 3. Principal Financial Group Incorporated, ticker symbol PFG. Founded in 1879 and headquartered in Des Moines, Iowa, Principal Financial Group is a financial investment management and insurance company. At the time of this video, Principal Financial has a share price of $70.87 and a market cap of $18.88 billion. Annual percentage yield of 3.61%. For investors, that means $2.56 per share a year, or a passive dividend payment of $0.64 cents per share per quarter. PFG has grown their dividend for eight years. PFG has a payout ratio of 39.07%. Great room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 44.84%. PFG pays out in the months of March, June, September, and December of every year. Number 2. Aflac Incorporated. Ticker symbol AFL. This one needs no introduction. Who hasn't seen the Aflac at featuring the Aflac duck on their TV? This is another staple in most value dividend investors' portfolio. It has a stellar dividend history. They just raised their dividend by 21% too. What's not to like about Aflac? Founded in 1955 and headquartered in Columbus, Georgia, Aflac is an American insurance company and the largest supplemental insurance. This insurance behemoth has mind-blowing footprint in Japan, as they insure one in every four household in Japan. Their biggest product is the Insurance at Work Supplemental Life Insurance. At the time of this video, AFL has a share price of $55.44 and a market cap of $36.98 billion. Annual percentage yield of 2.89%. For investors, that means $1.60 per share a year, or a passive dividend payment of $0.40 cents per share per quarter. Aflac has grown their dividend for 39 years. Aflac has a payout ratio of 27.1%. Great room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 26.81%. Aflac pays out in the months of March, June, September, and December of every year. Number 1. Prudential Financial Incorporated. Ticker symbol PRU. My favorite insurance dividend stock. Headquartered in Newark, New Jersey, Prudential Financial is an American Fortune Global 500 and Fortune 500 company with $1.72 trillion in asset under management. Their prime product is insurance, but they also handle retirement planning as well. And they just announced a $1.5 billion stock buyback. At the time of this video, Prudential's has a share price of $106.53 and a market cap of $41.30 billion. Annual percentage yield of 4.32%. For investors, that means $4.60 per share a year, or a passive dividend payment of $1.15 per share per quarter. Prudential has grown their dividend for seven years. 
Prudential has a payout ratio of 32.96%. Great room to raise the dividend. Currently, investors have also enjoyed a one-year stock growth and appreciation of 40.56%. Prudential pays out in the months of March, June, September, and December of every year. We just can't list them all. Do you agree with our list? We like to hear your feedback and comment below. Remember all we do is bring you the lists for entertainment purposes only. It is your duty to do your own due diligence and or consult an expert and invest your hard-earned money wisely. We bring you the list, not the due diligence that you should do. While I go and cook the next personal finance video for you, please do us a superb favor and give us a like and don't leave us without subscribing. Think of it as a tip for our hard work or a hug for a dear friend. We will greatly appreciate it. Disclaimer, please note that I showcased these stocks for educational purposes only and shouldn't be taken as investment advice. I don't personally own all these stocks, just some. Please do you own due diligence and or consult your expert investment advisor as more fundamental analysis may be needed before investing. Please also note that the past performance of these stocks does not guarantee or indicate similar future performance. And please excuse all errors and omissions.